Okay, kayaking run. Everything in place. Grungy clothes. Kayak. Oh, here's the yard with all its interesting stuff. There's the dome, which looks a little weird with its summer covering. Can't even see its beautiful domeness, but there it is. Neighbor's house. Compressor that I failed to put away last night and totally needs to be put away. Alex's car. My car, and off we go. Now it's time to go to the lake, which is about a five minute drive. end of the university I work at, which is entirely too close to my home. It's basically across the back fence. More university. It's actually quite a pretty university. physically. Oh, there's Highway 90. So see if you're on Highway 90, you pass very close to my home. Now, we have just crossed the train tracks, literally and figuratively. Well, the literal ones are here. This is Dunkirk, no longer Fredonia. Dunkirk's the same size as Fredonia, but it has Hispanic people. So Dunkirk has a higher minority population, which is one of the things that I kind of loved about moving here, but I have not gotten involved as much as I wish. It also has one amazing Mexican restaurant. Well, it's just a taco place. Taqueria La Mexicana, which is delicious. Tiger lilies everywhere. I love them. Um, Dunkirk and Fredonia are both part of what's called the Rust Belt. There's a lot of stuff that's just... A lot of businesses, etc. that have been closed down. There aren't that many jobs. This is um, a steel object manufacturing. I can't remember exactly what they manufacture here, but... ...to that left. The economy suffers quite a bit. We have things like... Um, our infrastructure is a bit stretched in town like our water system and our roads because our tax base has just been shrinking for decades anyway dunkirk is kind of cool dunkirk has a large um, hispanic population traditionally it was mostly puerto rican but recently there have been a lot more central american uh, immigrants who have moved to Dunkirk. I think some of them have come for jobs at places that no longer are operating. And I think some have come because of migrant um, agricultural labor. Which is interesting because where I used to live, a nice solid 36 hours of driving south of here, <laughs> we actually had a migrant students association. We had enough students who were seasonal migrant laborers, that's just what their families did, that the university had a migrant student association and there were certain types of accommodations that could be made. So now we're to where some of the houses at Dunkirk look a little cuter. We're going to point, and never guess, Gratiot, of course, because this is a lot like the Midwest, a lot more like more than it is like the East Coast. And in the Midwest, you incorporate foreign words and pronounce them very badly. Places such as Belle Fountain, Ohio, which I initially thought was Belfontaine, and got laughed at for saying that. 
So let's see. And here's Point Gratiot. We'll see how spicy the water is. We come here a lot. This is like our beach. We usually go a little further down. There's a beautiful park. This is actually a really lovely spot in the city. Um, but I'm gonna put in a the kind of ugly put in, which is it serves my purposes for kayaking. Oh, it's busy. Bunch of bastards. What are they doing here? This is my beach. I guess I have to share. To the water. Wait, I mentioned ridiculous. I do this all the time. Just seeing silly things to myself for no real reason. Oh yeah, it looks good. Look at it. It's nice. It's a bit foggy, but nice. Some smallish waves. I really do love this spot. Without this lake here, I don't think I would have come. Even not knowing that work wasn't going to be a lot of fun for a while. First couple of years, anyway. Anyway, down around that point is nice. Uh, a little past that point, past the first of those points, is a little creek that empties out, and that creek is the one that goes right past our house and flows out here. And then, just down there, there's a beautiful lighthouse that we can't really see right now. Huh? The lighthouse where Alex and Sam have done Shakespeare on the lake a few years in a row. This year, they've moved to a downtown space. Can you see the lighthouse? Maybe not from here. Maybe you can't get a good angle on those trees. No, not quite. Anyway, this is it. It's a pretty good day for this. It's gorgeous.